Hi everybody, this is Miss Karen here for the Montgomery County Norristown Public Library and I'm here today to walk you guys through our fun Shark Week painting grab and go activity. So what you're going to need for this activity, you're going to need a safe space to paint. So if you're using something like your kitchen counter, anything like that, a table, make sure you put down some newspaper, old magazines, something to use as a layer underneath so that you don't get paint on the surface. You're going to need the canvas, the paint set, and the brushes that you got in your grab and go pack. And you're going to need something to mix some paint on. So maybe a paper plate, if you have something like that, something that won't get um, stained by the paint, but we're going to mix some colors. So to start off, there are two colors that you're going to need to mix together. You're going to mix your dark blue and the white to make a nice light blue color. And you're also going to mix some black and white to make gray because we need the light blue for our sky in the background. And of course, we need the gray for our shark. So once you have those colors mixed, the first thing that you're going to do is go ahead and paint the whole background of your canvas in that light blue color to make that nice blue sky background. Now we are going to paint over that on the bottom third of the canvas, as you can see in my mostly completed example here. We're going to go ahead and paint some darker waves on top of that, so you don't have to cover the whole bottom part of the canvas if you want to save some of that paint. So I have this one done already just because it does need time to dry before you paint over it. So you might want to take about five to ten minutes in between each of these steps. You can pause the video, give your canvas some time to dry. Or if you have a hair dryer at home, you can use that to speed up the drying process. But you want to make sure that each layer is nice and dry before you paint on top of it, otherwise your colors will mix together. You're going to see that a little bit in the video here, because I'm not going to take the time to wait for the paint to dry so that this video goes nice and quickly. So you'll see what I mean about that. But like I said, if you just take 5-10 to 10 minutes in between each step, let that paint dry, or use a hair dryer, you'll be good to go. So the first thing we're going to do after our background is nice and painted is we're going to head, go ahead and use one of our smaller brushes. You should have a large brush and a smaller brush from your grab and go kit. You're going to get some of that gray paint and right from the third bottom of the canvas, we're going to paint kind of a curved triangle coming up into the center. So we're going to start right about that third mark from the bottom and just make a curved line coming up with a point in the center and then back down on the other side. This absolutely does not need to be perfect because we can always just go through and rehash out our lines here. You can see mine's a little bit wonky, but that is perfectly fine. So it's gonna make a shape kind of like that, almost just like an upside down V. You don't have to make it super pointy at the top because our shark's nose isn't gonna be perfectly pointy. It does have a little bit of a curve to it, but you definitely wanna bring it in so that it makes that upside down V shape. And then we're going to go ahead and paint that in, but you're going to leave a little, almost like a little rainbow shape in the center that you're going to leave free because we're going to paint that in white to make the shark's belly. So once you have that shape, you can go ahead and fill that in with your gray paint. And like I said, it doesn't need to be perfect because we can certainly go through and fix up those lines later if we want to. Alright, so you should end up with something that looks just like that. And you can see how that's going to turn into our shark face a little later on. So next you can use your bigger brush that you use to paint the backgrounds and we're going to take that nice dark blue and we're going to paint actually right over where we just painted along that line. So we don't want to see any of the spots where the gray meets the light blue. We're going to paint right over that with the dark blue and we're going to make a little wave pattern. Now you will see my colors mixing here because I did not wait for that gray to dry, but that's perfectly all right. And we're just going to go ahead and make those little swoopy lines going up and down to make our waves. So it should look something like that. And then you can go ahead and paint in the whole bottom third of the canvas with that dark blue paint. Now I do have my background dry on this example here. If you don't wait for the background to dry, you will see the light blue and the dark blue mixing together. Um, if you prefer it like that, that's great. I always encourage you guys to do whatever you want with these paintings. You don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing. Feel free to make it your own. And if you'd like to see those colors mix a little bit, then you just want to do this before that background dries. I only have a small brush here, so it's going to take me a minute. But... So we're going to fill that in. And one thing you might want to do once you have that bottom third painted in, again, you would want to wait until the paint layer dries before you do this. 
But once you have that section painted in, you can take more of your light blue and just paint some smaller wave patterns on top of the dark blue like that, just to make it look like there are more waves in the ocean. But I'm not gonna wait for that dark blue to dry, so you can just see it on my example here. All right, next thing we're gonna do is paint on the eyes of our shark. So you wanna take a thinner brush this time, and we're gonna dip into black paint, and we're just gonna do two little circles right on the edges of our shark face here. So right on the sides, you're just gonna do two little circles and that's gonna make our shark eyes. Cause he's looking, we're looking at his belly and his mouth. So his eyes would kind of be peeking out from the sides there. And you can kind of bring them down like that. There we go. And then you're gonna do two little curved lines right at the top, one and two to make his nostrils. All right. And then we're gonna do kind of an upside down happy face and give him that big ferocious frown just like that. So we're gonna do a rainbow shape, a curved line from the bottom to the top. And again, you can see my paint colors are mixing here because I did not wait for that gray to dry, but you can avoid that just by giving it about five or 10 minutes for the gray layer to dry here. So we're gonna fill that in and you'll end up with something kind of just like that. You can see it better here where I had the, the paint layers dried, okay? And then the last thing we're gonna do is just paint a curved line underneath the mouth. Just one curved line. It's kind of hard to see here because my paint is still very wet. You can see the difference between painting on dry paint and painting on wet paint. So you definitely wanna wait for that layer to dry. Okay. And then we're going to take white paint. That's the last color we're gonna use. And you're gonna use it to paint in that hole on the belly. Just like that. I'm trying not to have that mix. And because the white paint is so thin, you might want to do one or two layers of that just so that you don't see any of the blue in the background. So like I said, if you give that about five minutes to dry, you can go over that with another layer of paint and that'll get rid of any of the blue in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and move over to my pre-prepared canvas here. We only have one step left. I'm sure you guys can guess what that step is. Our shark is missing something there. He is missing his teeth. So we're going to go back to that white paint and we're gonna start on the top corner of his mouth, top left corner here, and we're just gonna do some big triangles here, just like that, some big zigzags on the top and on the bottom. Zigzags going up, and you can fit as many as you'd like or as few as you'd like, and then we're gonna fill those in just like this. And then he has a big, ferocious, tooth-filled, sharky smile. And there you have it, folks. You have your very own Shark Week painting. And of course, there's plenty of things you can add to this painting if you'd like. You could use some of that white paint and add some clouds in the background. You could add some birds flying. You could add a fish jumping out of the water. This is, um, in some ways, a blank canvas for you guys. So whatever you would like to add to it to make it your own, I encourage you to do so. We would love to see some pictures of your finished masterpiece if you want to share them on our Facebook page. We also have our grab and go gallery set up in our children's department. When you walk in off the elevator right to your right hand side, you'll see a big bulletin board filled with artwork of kids just like you who have made masterpieces from our grab and go kits. So if you'd like to have your artwork displayed in the library, you can just bring it on in, make sure your name is written on the canvas and we will hang it up for all to see. So I hope you guys enjoyed our Shark Week special grab-and-go craft, and hopefully we'll see you back again soon. Bye-bye.